Hi, Uncle Drew. Hi, Uncle Dan. Maddie and I are here in Green Bay. I'm back from Indianapolis with my observations from last night's game. Maddie, do you have any thoughts after watching it on TV? She's not the best colored person in the business for nothing, folks. Biggest observation, I think, from the Packers game is twofold. One, the fact that the no huddle continues to be extremely effective. They drive down the field. When they switch to it, they get another touchdown. It was their third straight touchdown using the no huddle. Right? And then they ended up settling for a field goal on their next drive. So 24 points off their first four no-huddle drives in preseason. The problem, of course, and the flip side of that, is that it appears that their offensive line needs to get a little bit better condition for it to be effective once the regular season starts. If you noticed, Aaron Rodgers took four sacks, three of them the responsibility of the offensive line, two by Chad Clifton, one by Josh Sitton, and they all came at the end of no-huddle drive. So clearly what the Packers need to do is make sure that they're in position to be in shape so they, their offensive linemen can handle the challenges of going no-huddle. It is an up-tempo offense, and the expectation is, is that when you get tired, your fundamentals have to remain... Do you think that's funny? Your fundamentals have to remain the way they need to be. So that was the one thing. Talking with Chad Clifton after the game, he made it very clear. Look, it's my fault. I'm making no excuses. I need to be better. At 35 years old, he is the oldest starting left tackle in the National Football League. But if these guys can get in the kind of shape they need to be offensively, they can run the no huddle extremely effectively. That's all from here. Maddie, anything to add? We'll catch you next week. Thanks, guys.